you're asking about the difference. What's the difference between the war in the West and the war in the East? What pops to my mind first and foremost is it, there is a lot more of a sort of scorched earth, um, almost atrocity, and I, I don't like using that term too much. Um, it's more of a total war. Um, the way I try to describe it to students is in the East, what the British were trying to do was suppress and end a rebellion. They wanted to end the rebellion and have the American colonists return to being subjects of the king, members of the empire. So they were reasonably circumspect in their behavior. Um, Notwithstanding some of the fictional depictions, I think particularly of the, of the movie The Patriot, um, where they try to show that there's some real British atrocities. For the most part, the British were relatively mild because they considered these people sort of our wayward cousins. And they wanted to, at first, sort of awe them into backing down. Later on, they knew they were fighting a war, but they didn't want to go too far. In the West, it's nothing like this at all because the Indians are not seeing themselves as agents of the British Empire. They're fighting for their land. They are uh, a functioning group or groups with their own agenda, their own motives, and to them, they're fighting for their own homelands. And so even though, for the most part, Indians are loosely aligned with the British side of the war, um, the violence between whites and Indians is no holds bar, total war, and, and less than physical atrocities, um, there's the idea of burning out crops, burning villages to the ground to destroy the ability to have food and shelter over the winter. So in that sense, you're not going to see that in the East. Um, this scorched earth type of policy. For one thing, in the East, the British needed to live off the land. Um, they wanted American farmers to continue to grow crops because they were purchasing them to live on. Um, in the West, nothing like that at all. Both sides, the very first thing they could do whenever they could was burn the cornfields because that would make it really hard for either side to feed themselves during the upcoming winter.